P-Dub's Arcade Loft is filmed before a live studio audience. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to P-Dub's Arcade Loft, and I am fired up today! Woohoo! Because it's Wednesday! And you know what Wednesday is? It's firmware day, baby! That's right, we got new firmware coming out today on our At Games Legends Ultimate, and it's only going to take a quick minute to show you what's going down. And the cool thing is, oh by the way, check it out, look, look, look! Oh yeah, there's that custom screensaver movie. Oh, love having that, and not only that, we now have the ability to do our own custom background on the desktop of the Legends Ultimate. We're going to walk you through that process right now. Okay guys, we are over on our At Games Legends Ultimate. We are on version 4.2.0. When we check the box to check for an update, we do see that update 4.3.0 is available. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy downloaded. Now while that's downloading, real quick, just a couple housekeeping items. Uh, just so you know, we do have part three of our five-part walkthrough series is going to be coming out here very, very soon, probably within the next day or two. The reason for the delay, I've been testing some various Pi images, trying to find the one that I like most that's the easiest to get set up with the At Games Legends Ultimate. So stay tuned for that, as well as don't forget, we do have videos coming out uh, hopefully this week as well, our Toy Shock Pinball Mod as well as additional mods to Arcade 1-Up, as well as additional content on our At Games Legends Ultimate. So much to do, so little time. Okay guys, we are back on our desktop while the uh, Legends Ultimate is updating to the latest firmware. So real quick, uh, some of the highlights. Uh, probably one of the main, what you might call, semi-cool, cool, cool, yeah, it's cool, features is we can now do our custom menu background. Um, all you have to do is create a folder on your USB drive labeled this HA background HA8800 underscore background you must place a JPEG image that's 1920 by 1080 in size what you can do is take whatever picture you want stick it in paint if you need to and you can resize the picture in paint quite simply and then when you go to file save as you can save it as a JPEG instead of a PNG you'll notice here it's got to be a JPEG and then you just plug it into the cabinet navigate to settings UI preference and select it so hopefully we'll get that working and additionally there's been some new highlights we now have the health check feature in the settings menu to diagnose our cabinet hardware and we'll take a look at that here uh, shortly so so we do have our thumb drive plugged in I have it labeled thumb test and our drive is empty according to the instructions we need to create a folder called HA8800 background so we just right click click folder and we need to name it this so we're just gonna copy this control C and we are going to rename this as boom 88 background so boom open the folder we're ready to drop our picture in all you have to do is open up another file explorer and find what picture you want to use in this case I think I want to use let's go eh, where is it we got p-dubs arcade loft let's do uh, yeah let's just do my desktop background this is a JPEG and it's 1920 by 1080 perfect perfect yeah we're just gonna stick that in there again this is just a test walk you through how to do it and boom it's there all right so now we're ready to stick this into our legends ultimate and see what happens next okay we are back on our legends ultimate and we went ahead and we plugged in our thumb drive now we're going to scroll over to settings and we're going to find the new menu the user interface preference there it is on the bottom right uh, currently it's set to off we want to turn it on um, so what we want to do is we want to highlight the white box the big box you'll see our files in there we just say do you want to use it we click yes 
after we click yes uh, it'll put it on there for you boom boom you're done it's set to on you could always go back in there and turn it off if desired but there you go got that desk uh, got that background image set up okay guys there you go but we're not done yet so they also included uh, improved network checks uh, for your local networks as well as a health check for your system now I'm not going to show you too much of that because it does display your own personal IP addresses and things of that nature and obviously stuff like that we want to keep private so I'm not going to do a walkthrough of that it's self-explanatory stuff and it's really cool that you can do a health check of your system and obviously you can then um, get that sent off to at games for diagnosing if you ever have a problem now one feature is pretty cool that actually I found very very exciting because about two days ago I noticed my left USB port wasn't working so as part of the checks you can check your now here's something pretty cool so of course you can do a control panel test which I like so basically you're just gonna test all of your buttons all of your joysticks and make sure that everything is reading correctly uh, whatever the yellow one is is what you have to press and then if it works it turns green which means you don't have a problem with the joystick or the button that's pretty cool And right here it gets kind of exciting because you can also test your speakers as well as test your ports and you'll notice my left port not found. Right port okay. So my left port is not reading. So there's something wrong with my left USB port. I noticed it was acting kind of funky the other day. So I'll probably have to get under the control panel, make sure everything's plugged in correctly, see if anything's wrong with it. And if I can't figure it out, I have to talk to At Games and see if they can help me figure that out. Rock and roll, dude! So there you go. As you can see, we got uh, we got a couple of updates. Uh, you got to admit the uh, health systems and being able to upload the data from your system to At Games so they can diagnose any issues you're having is really cool. But of course, the highlight of this update, it's not that exciting of an update, is the background. Having your custom background, which is really, really cool. So have fun playing with that. You can put a lot of images underneath that folder, stick them in your... Um, stick that USB drive in and you know pick and choose which one you want to upload and have saved on the local system once it saves and it's on there it is on there so you don't have to keep that USB drive plugged in you can take it out uh, and it'll it'll always be there so there you go that's the quick walkthrough for firmware 4.3 point whatever <laughs> so many ah! But the good news is, it's pretty cool stuff. Thanks again, At Games, for making cool updates uh, every week. We appreciate it. It's kind of hard to keep up, but we love it. Keep them coming. Um, also, got uh, the the uh, the Raspberry Pi video, the Fire Stick video, the Android device video, um, the we're just gonna plug stuff in and pretend it's a TV video. The you can do anything video is coming up soon so stick with me guys i got so much content i gotta get done I have a full-time job wife kid responsibilities getting to all this stuff as quickly as i can for you but thanks for your support thanks for hanging out upstairs with us rock and roll p-dubs arcade loft i'm out oh and uh could you hit that subscribe button